Hey everyone, 1019 Training Log here, and this one I really need some feedback on and some help. Because I've got a question, two of them. Do you guys think my knees were locked out in these sumo pulls here? I was training sumo again, kept the weight fairly light. This is 385, and I went ahead and put straps on because I just really wanted to focus on the form and making sure my hands were even which with the alternate grip I wasn't feeling. However, when I'm looking at these, it looks like at the top of the lift, when I'm driving my hips into the bar, my knees are coming unlocked. And that is not allowed in the USAPL, which is where I'm hoping to do a powerlifting competition. So anybody that's done a powerlifting meet or has experience with people being red lighted for their knees not being locked at the top of the deadlift or just watching the video, let me know, do you guys think that this would pass in a powerlifting meet? And if not, what can I do to prevent those knees from coming unlocked? When I was doing the lift itself, I didn't quite feel it. And this is set two. You'll notice that first set I didn't have a belt in, got some reps. Listen to some weird music that I haven't listened to in a while. I uh, cannot lift, lift in silence without a lifting partner, I figured out. So when the kids and my wife are there, I can do no music. When I'm by myself, I'm going to have to be using music, so you guys are going to have to hear some weird stuff, because my CD player doesn't play any of my good burnt CDs, and so it's hit and miss on what actually works. So again, same thing there, feeling my legs coming undone, but in this one, I got a terrible lower back pump just after this was done. So what do you guys do to prevent lower back pumps? It just completely wrecked my workout. I was laying on the ground for a long time. And the only thing I could think of to do that wasn't going to mess up my back was these, the barbell glute extensions or however you want to call that. And I've never done these before with a barbell. Didn't feel as uncomfortable as I expected, although it does make me look like I have a balloon under my shirt. So, not a really flattering angle. For sure, but I could definitely feel the glutes working here, and as I said, it wasn't messing with my lower back. This is pretty light. It's only 85 pounds. That bar that I'm using is only a 35 pound bar right there. And I just decided to do 20 reps, try and hold it a little bit at the top, not too long. And it gave me quite a lot of glute activation, to the point I'm thinking about doing these before I sumo pull next time and maybe before I squat. Those are both movements that I don't really feel the glute activation a whole lot. I just wanted to show you how I have to get into position here. It's just terrible. So last one was 85 pounds, felt pretty light. So this is 155 pounds and it's still feeling pretty light. It is hard to hold at the top though. I was pleasantly surprised by how difficult that was so we'll see what if you guys do these what kind of weight do you use because i have no idea what kind of weight i should be using on this all right thanks a lot and i appreciate any sort of feedback or advice you guys can give me thanks bye